Okay, so in your box, what do we have in here? So we have the light itself with its wiring, which is plug and play. Awesome. And some straps, and this is your, your switch that will mount on the, uh, on the dash just to, uh, to control turning on and turning off your accessory light. And the other thing you want to do is uh, go to instructions.brp.com, type in the uh, model number or the uh, part number for, for the light, and they'll give you a full manual, step-by-step, -step, exactly how to install everything with pictures. And there's a template that you'll have to print out, and this basically uh, sits over here. So you got your, take off your key, this sits right in here, and that's where you drill your hole to put the, uh, the light switch. So super easy, you just gotta follow the steps and take your time, and uh, we're gonna go through that now step by step. So the two tools you're gonna actually need for this is a center drill, which I have here, and a 6.5 millimeter or quarter inch drill bit, and that's it, everything else is provided in the box. Okay, so the first step uh, in this whole process is to take off our hood. There's lots of videos on YouTube to do it, but we'll show you guys. So what you're gonna wanna do, first thing, is, well, this isn't the first thing. The first thing would be to open your glove box, and there's two Torx bits right here. You're gonna take off, and there's one Torx bit here, one Torx bit here, and the same on the other side. And under the gauge, there's also two more Torx bits that you'll take out. And the last thing you wanna make sure is right over here. If you can see in there, you probably can't because it's dark. This screw over here, you wanna loosen that because that's your air intake, so that when you take off the hood, uh, it comes off nicely and doesn't pull on that tubing. The other thing I forgot to mention, guys, is um, what you'll need is a, T a T25 bit to take off uh, all, the, all the torque screws uh, to pull off the hood. Uh, the machine does come with a T25 Torx, but I find it to have a lot easier to use a ratchet, so that's what we're doing. Let's get to it. Okay, so we got all eight Torx screws out holding on the, uh, the hood, and we loosened that Phillips head that's holding uh, on the air intake. So the next step is actually just to slide the hood off. It's as easy as that. There you go. Okay, so we got the hood off. The next thing we need to do is actually just remove all of these uh, locking washers, and then we can pull uh, this material right off the hood. A few moments later. More moments later. So a little tip to get these little grommets washers off. Get the screwdriver to bend these little tabs out and then just kind of twist and as you twist they kind of come up. They're a real pain. We yeah, they're stop. a huge bitch to take off. Uh, the good news is that they actually send you a new set of them so you don't have to reuse the old ones and then once those are all off this just comes off nicely like that. Okay, so the next step, we're going to flip the hood over. That flipped over, what you want to do is take out uh, the screws here and here. So as I mentioned, when you want to take out those screws under the hood, you need to latch on to, to this nut over here, uh, and then you can take the screws off, and you actually keep the washer and the screw, and you can discard the nut. So the next step is to actually uh, disconnect the lower half of the lamp harness just so we can uh, get this wiring through. So there's a little slot here where you want to actually route this through and then that sits nicely right in that slot. Once you get all the wiring, the slack of the wiring through, there it is. There we go. So that slid in nicely. And then we have this wiring through and there's a track for the wiring to sit. Okay, so as I mentioned, we want to fasten the, uh, the light on. So it's just the same stock screws that we took off before. And we're going to put those uh, on. And again, you don't want this to be over tight because it's going into plastic. So just until it's relatively tight. 
what I'll do is I'll actually put on the other one first and then I'll tighten both of them down together. So just till it's roughly tight, you don't want to over tighten it. That's it. So this is what it looks like all installed. Looks awesome. And uh, what we're gonna do now is just work on routing that wiring harness underneath and then we're gonna install that heat uh, protectant layer uh, again like we took off at the beginning. Okay, so now that we got the, uh, the wire routed through, you have a little um, area here where you fasten down the um, wiring. So I'm just gonna grab that through. Get that in there. I'm not going to tighten it down fully, just to guide where we want the wiring. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. And then this wiring is going to go under the, um, the heat shield, and it comes right over here where it's going to connect into your wiring harness on your machine. So now that we have that wire in place, the uh, heat shield is ready to go back on. There we go. And with that in place, they give you a uh, new these metal washer things that clamp them down. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put those back on. So we got our template uh, that we cut out, for, printed from instructions.brp.com. And you'll see uh, there's a marking. Yeah, so there's four holes you wanna drill here, 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 and here. And we're gonna get a little piece of scotch tape just to hold this down. Or bright yellow electrical tape, that works too. So before the centering drill, uh, we're just using a really small bit to drill out these marks. Then we'll use the centering bit. And then we'll end off after the centering bit by using that drill bit. Just to be a little more precise. Yeah. Okay, so we got that started. That's clean. Looks clean. And now we're going to go with the, uh, the center drill and drill out those holes. Now we can drill the corners with that bit. It looks like professionally placed holes. Yeah, it's almost as if we had a template, eh? Yeah, just widening it with that bit. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now that we got those holes drilled, what we're gonna do now is uh, make tangent lines between uh, these holes so we can get rid of this whole space to put in that rocker switch. One eternity later. So after we drilled the holes, we took a utility knife, very carefully scored all the way around. Uh, we used a little straight edge, this guy right here, just a little ruler. Um, scored all the way around, very, very slowly broke through. And then what we did was we took a file and we just filed it until it fit and it fits very snug and it's in there nice and solid. Looks like it's right from the factory. Now that we got that switch installed, we're going to uh, plug in the cable. So in the instructions uh, that we downloaded, it tells you. So the red goes to the uh, SW2 connector and the purple or the violet goes to the SW4 connection. So when you're looking at the rocker switch, the the side where the um, headlight is on, so when the switch is forward, that closest connection to the front is your, your red connector. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. And then the purple connection is the back. And there we go. Okay, so now that we got uh, the rocker switch all all in there, so this is your, your power for it. And uh, on your machine, if you don't have any accessories installed that require power, your plug and play option is gonna be clipped under here. So you're gonna unplug that, plug in the rocker switch, and then uh, this end here is gonna plug into your headlight, and this is another plug and play accessory, uh, or another plug and play uh, input for any other accessories you have. So I'm gonna clip it up here just for safekeeping for now. And uh, we're actually gonna install Joe's LED signature uh, hand guards after, and we're gonna end up using that other plug and play connection.
looks awesome. Woohoo! Okay guys, so that was our video on the uh, LED uh, accessory light by Skidoo. The install takes a little bit of time, but once you get the hang of it and if you follow the instructions from VRP, it's not too bad. And if you have any questions on the install, feel free to shoot us a message or you can send me an email at jesse at Thanks for watching guys. If you liked that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the Sled Addicts YouTube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiling. Also, hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos.